Fixin to Ride. What's up guys, welcome back to Fixin to Ride. We are still working on this O2ZR600 wrecked rebuild. We're making some progress on it, check it out. All right, so I got the jack shaft in and man, this thing spins like butter. That's nice. This one looks so much better. The one that was in here was really rusty. So I got the, uh, so the steering up in there, cross member. Steering's really tight on this thing. I mean, I don't know if I can show it, but there's like no play at all. So that's going to be good. Uh, did that. I got the wiring harness up in here. I uh, cleaned up the oil tank, put that in there. I started putting hoses on. Um, I had to... Um, I ended up putting the caliper on. There was a couple parts from the chain case that I had to put in here. Just these two idler arms, not a big deal. And uh, straighten that little guy out, straighten this one out. Got the exhaust on there. So just little by little, it's kind of tedious work. Um, I did notice, like, I'm going to have to repair this if I want that heating element to work. Which, that's for the hand. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be important. Oh, one of the other things I forgot to tell you that I got from West Michigan Snowmobile was this thumb throttle. I had to harvest the one off of this to go on that 2003 550 build that I sold this year. So, But yeah, everything's looking good. Everything's bolting up clean. Um, yeah, next I'm going to put the air box on. And then uh, I do have to put the tensioner, the chain tensioner in the chain case there. And then should be getting pretty close to putting the engine in. And then I'll have to put the track and drive shaft on. And then, like I said, I'm going to swap out this 98ZR suspension for the original suspension that came in this O2. So, which it's good to go. So, but yeah, that's it. Just figured I'd give an update. Everything's going smooth so far. So, definitely helps when you get the parts. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm probably going to end up replacing the. Um, the A-arms on here, I'm going to get all four shocks rebuilt. Hopefully I can get this all banged out before, uh, I'm sure I'll bang it out. We don't even, I don't even know if we're going to get snow. I mean, I'm hoping. Hopefully we'll be able to take these things out and go for a rip and get some footage of that. It'd be fun. It's been two years, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to doing that. Um, I think everybody else is too. Uh, everybody else is on the same page. Um, my wife and my youngest, uh, he's they both have their safety certificates now, so they're, yeah, they're definitely excited, so. So, yeah, this definitely was a carbureted model. Um, it's not a big deal. I should be able to leave that there, although I might just pop those two out and then pop this out just to get this out of the way. And then the other thing I, I ran into were the, the anchors for the motor mounts, which they're missing. So I needed one here and one here, so. I went and grabbed some. <laughs> so this is a, unfortunately, this is a 100 p or a 50 piece set, but they're 3 8 by 16. So um, I do have the, the tool to install these. So I'm going to go ahead and get those in and uh, yeah, I'll be able to put the front motor mounts in and not have to worry. Um, I'm sure you saw, I got the, the bearing holder and rear uh, mount holder on this side for the jack shaft. Um, that's the one that came out of there. It's funny because I thought it was bent pretty bad and it wasn't. And then as far as that, I, you guys saw it in the last video, This there wasn't a hole here. Well, I looked on the bottom and it looked like there's like something broke off clean. Well, come to find out, it was just, there was nothing even there. So I the, the hole was in the other chassis and it was just like a dirt ring. So I ended up just drilling this out with, for a 5 16 inch bolt and popped that in there. So you got the three on the side. One, two, three, and then uh, this one right here, which I still have to tighten up, and then that one right there. So it's rocking, nice and solid. So right, let's get this air box. Wipe it down so it should be fairly clean. Thinking this uh, hose might be a little, might be in the wrong orientation. Give that a try. 
There we go. And then we just have two of these little guys to hold it on from the top. Look, got the handlebars on. Um, I ended up putting the chain adjuster on there as well. Now we just got a bunch of wires to deal with. Probably just leave all this up here until we get the engine put in. But to put the engine in, I gotta, I have to actually have to get this tool first to be able to install these nuts in here. I mean, the tank's not that big of a deal. I think I'm gonna throw some tape across there. Yeah, that should work actually. So they both go on top. Should work just fine. Just gonna reroute this to the other side of the steering shaft here. Oh, son of a freaking gun, dude. Keep biting my lip, this is dang gum gone. Gum. Got a whole mess of wires to play with now. But they're all there, so that's good. And then as far as the suspension goes, I got some good stuff down here. And this stuff's looking a little ratty. Not like the way it looks is that big of a deal to me at this point. Function's all I care about, folks. Function. At least at this point. So we'll uh we'll start matching up the suspension and getting that going all right get this thing all cleaned up looks pretty good i just wanted to get the grime and the you know majority of the grime and then the uh whatever type of crust there was all over it i ended up taking off the uh, throttle body as well and hit that uh, clean that up pretty good so well, that doesn't look too bad now so i'm getting ready to put this thing in right now i'm just gonna slap it in there and uh, I got the I got the motor mounts and everything in uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and uh, this actually came off of the other side there but I had to take off that front left motor mount to be able to get this thing um, to be able to get the engine out because otherwise I would have had to pull it up off of this and it just wasn't budging so um, I'm gonna try it on this side and see what happens and then uh, go from there. Hopefully it'll go in a lot smoother. So. Alright. 